If you've been a patient at Park Ridge Hospital, you may be wondering about a recent data breach. It's reported basic patient information like names, addresses, phone numbers, and birthdays were stolen. Dallas Payton joins us live now from Park Ridge Medical Center. And Dallas, tell us what victims can do to protect themselves from this. Cindy Gregg, while ACA Healthcare claims uh, credit cards and account numbers were not stolen, the information that was could have still be used to gain more information about the data breach victims. Michelle Mason with the Better Business Bureau says victim of ACA's healthcare data breach should anticipate getting unexpected calls. She says although the information that was stolen is basic, it could be valuable to hackers. With your birth date and your name and even an email, those are pieces of a puzzle that someone could use to try to steal your identity and sometimes they even contact you in hopes that you'll give the other pieces. So just be very careful. Sometimes with these data breaches we can see a delay, maybe six months before someone attempts to do anything because they're hoping to catch someone off guard. Mason says to also watch out for emails. She encourages victims to warn family members as hackers could impersonate a victim and attempt to get personal information from family members. Contacting your financial provider is helpful as well. To see if there are additional steps you can use to just safeguard your information. Um, we always encourage people to check their credit reports on a regular basis at least twice a year and you even have the option of doing a credit freeze that requires certain information to be verified before new credit can be established in your account. Mason says changing your passwords and making them stronger is another measure. A lot of technology advances are making it easier and easier for scammers to try to figure out passwords so the stronger and more difficult you make it and the more often you change it is a, a great steps towards protecting your identity. She says in this case, victims of the data breach will likely be offered credit monitoring assistance. We encourage people to make sure if you get notified that you verify before you contact them that you are hearing from the correct entity. So go back to uh, the site for Partridge's uh, operations and make sure that this is the correct company and the contact information matches up because you will have to give out your social security number and other information in order for them to do monitoring of your credit. Mason says no one wants to have their identity stolen. So to take those safety measures seriously. Reporting live for Local 3 News, I'm Dallas Payton.